does anyone ever find it weird how time seems to speed on the internet? Um, it's just something I kind of ponder about all the time. Um, to kind of elaborate what I mean. So say you take a year, for example. You haven't seen somebody in a year, or you haven't gone on vacation in a year. Yeah, a year is a significant amount of time, but it's not as significant as 10 years, for example. I know that's such a huge gap, but I haven't been on vacation in 10 years. Like, that's a long time. Compare that to just a year. However, on the internet, more specifically on YouTube, it seems like just time just goes by so much faster and trends come and go like nothing and it's so hard to keep track of where we're going and where we've been like I'm old enough to remember like how YouTube was first presented to us um, for those who don't even know the original slogan or the original tagline when you enter the site was broadcast yourself the site was designed with the idea that you just go on there and upload random videos of you doing things. It could have been playing with your cat or going snowshoeing or anything, you know. And that really, like, it struck a chord with people. It it's hard to explain, but it was it was such an interesting time. It was at the right place at the right time when the internet was so... It was still in its in infancy. Like, the internet as we know it. You know, the internet has been around for a while before that, but as we know it now, the internet was still kind of new. People were still getting access to computers. Like, smartphones were brand new to not even existing at all. Like, most people I knew at the time didn't even have any smartphones and then right away like over a span of five or six years like everybody had them and it was so much different you know and I think the culture of like YouTube and even the internet itself like it changes so fast and people are just having a hard time even understanding what to do with it now like where are we going with this tool you know because that's what the internet was built it was a tool, basically, but now it's become so ingrained in our our life, our society, our culture, even, you know. You know, it's just got an interesting thought. So, kind of to deep dive on this whole YouTube thing, um, people would literally just upload the most random things and people just appreciated just the simple things you know and it wasn't so much that like how now you have these big time celebrities basically and people doing this for, for their full time jobs like creating this content and just putting so much money and time and effort into these that some YouTube videos and some channels are basically like movies now you know like I, I've seen some YouTube videos that have so much like money and time and effort put into them and I'm not saying this is a bad thing but it's like it's crazy how, how different it is like go back and watch videos from 2007 or 2006 like it's it's night and day you know and I guess like the point that I'm trying to, or the question I'm trying to present to people is, is it better now than how it was when we started? Like, was YouTube better when it was just kind of like, you could be yourself, broadcast yourself onto the internet, do something fun that makes you happy and may interest, in, interest other people, excuse me. But, like, now it seems like it's just become so, like, commercial and so 
Like people are making companies around YouTube now. Like couch co-op um, channels, like legitimate businesses, you know. Um, I don't want to name drop any specific channels because, you know, this is, this is not saying I'm hating on anybody. There's no bad blood with anybody. It's just a random thought, I guess. But where do we go from here exactly? Like, it's going to keep advancing. And one day YouTube's not even going to exist, you know. It's just how it is. And to be honest, I don't really know what the answer is. Even if there is, you know, like it's so hard now to stand out against a sea of like all these channels who just do so much stuff. Like there's certain top 10 channels, for example, who upload like four, five, six videos every other day and that's just an example but like say you really wanted to talk about something like this and it's just limiting people's creativity and it's all coming at a rapid pace because everyone has to meet quotas now and everyone has to up upkeep this for their job and you know in certain trends of certain videos change so fast like remember the ice bucket challenge for example that was one of the hottest videos, or the cinnamon challenge. No one talks about that anymore. A uh, milk crate challenge, or uh, Charlie bit my finger in 2006, or um, you know, like these internet memes come and go so fast, and people make reaction videos and content around these certain trends, and it's just like they're trying to stand out by pretty much putting their own take on it or commenting on something that like, that's popular for the sake of because it's popular hoping that people will come and watch that because it's popular honestly um yeah i don't really know an answer i think i'm doing this whole discussion diary thought entry thing now it's because I always thought I wanted to do something like this but back then I wasn't really capable of talking for myself in a sophisticated or thought provoking way um, and also because at the time that I thought of doing something like this it was already so popular everybody was doing these kind of videos talking to nobody and um yeah <laughs> this video has no conclusion or no definitive it's just so much just kind of like a thought i guess just how fast things change and how it's so much harder to stand out now because of all these different people putting so much more money and time you know there's some legitimate, good, small YouTubers that are just lost because there's just people who are just bigger than them. And I don't really know how to solve that. It's it's the problem with many things on the air now. Like TikTok, for example. If everyone loves TikTok, I don't particularly use it. If ever, I mean, I know people like it. But it's just like, if there's so much content on TikTok being made every day that you just get lost and things change so fast and there's just no stopping it. And it's just, it, it, it's a question on, on technology itself and where do we go with this and how do we change it? And it should be changed. It should we just adapt and just live in a forever sea of, well, I hope that someday I'll be recognized. But now as I'm talking, maybe the point is that people shouldn't 
really focus too much on that. Because, to be honest, I don't even know if people are ever going to watch these videos. You know. But, it's it's hard sometimes. It's, it's hard to feel like no one cares about you. You know, you make a video that you feel you, you're really passionate about. Like, yeah, you feel good in here, and it matters to you. But, you're always going to feel that sense of, oh, but man, it's so hard to get noticed because he's, this guy is just so much more popular than me. So, do you quit? And I, I don't think so because you're doing some, something that you like to do, and that's important. I think um, as times change, I think we just have to just keep pushing forward to the best of our ability, just doing things that we actually find interest in. And just accept the fact that you may not be recognized for it. You know, it's luck sometimes. But it's just how it is. I kind of want to do follow-ups on this because there's some ideas I threw in here that I can elaborate on. But that's it for now. So yeah. Just think of how fast things change and how are you going to progress with it and how, if you want to stand out, how do you, how are you going to stand out? And if you don't want to stand out, then just maybe find something that interests you and just, that's all that matters, you know? Anyways, yeah, that's it.